welcome to the Urban Cowgirl Show. We're working in the uncovered arena today, doing some pairs driving combination work. This time Easy. we've got a saddle on Easy. E. Oh. And we just worked with the arena with our Kubota yesterday, trying to flatten it out and clean Good it up. Girls. So we're getting a feel for, uh, is it okay? Is it ready and safe for uh, training? Now Sadie, um, is uh, usually not as distracted as Eve. And so afterwards, we're going to see if we can do some more practice on laying her down, laying Sadie down out here in the uncovered arena. But before we do that, Easy. we're doing some pairs training. It Good. is one of the most challenging tasks I've ever tried to teach my Morgan horses. Good. Uh, it's looking real good so far. We'll get Katie's input. She has a mic on when she can take the time to think about what she's saying. But you see, we we lunge here every day. We get them to go over the jumps. We left the standards, the white vinyl standards up to give Katie kind of an obstacles path if she's feeling like she's got the focus of even Sadie. And are they understanding that their job is to stay together. Then we'll go back to Good harness girl. harnesses and cross check reins and all of the equipment that goes Easy. along with teaching a horse to do Easy. farming. Ooh, good. Easy. She went through the jump standards. That's great. You see how she's using her arm extension for signals. Easy. They need to learn to stay parallel and they need to learn to travel at the same speed, whether they're on the inside of the arc or on the outside. Easy. Easy. We decided to do a whole lot of repetitious training this way before we go back to harness work with the cross check reins. I'm even in the process now of making a simulated four cart that I don't intend to use it with pairs, not at first. Uh, we're making it so that we can use it with Eve as a single horse and me in a simulated four cart. Easy. They're doing a lot better than... They sure look like it. Oh, the last time. Um, yeah. You can see I'm just, I just have her lead line laying over Eve. I'm not even directing her with lead line at all. Um, she is, she's harder to get to pick up, not riding her, but she um, is, is more willing to stay close to Eve, especially uh -huh. on the outside curve. She'll turn on her own. Uh -huh. um, where Eve, if I had done this, she probably just would have walked away because she doesn't, she gets stressed about it. Yeah. So right now it's just keeping the same pace. Right. Especially on turns is their main and, thing. And just uh, in case uh, the viewers didn't see one of the prior shows, Eve did get scared by Sadie once. Yeah. And, and unfortunately, they don't forget these scary moments very easily. So when Eve is not under saddle with a bridle on and yeah. so forth, she tends to uh, get distracted by anything Sadie may do um, that might uh, remind her of that scary moment that she had with Sadie. Now, even Sadie are best friends and mother and daughter, so I don't expect them to uh, do anything to each other. Whoops. Uh -uh. Ooh, good. Good, good, good. That, that jump standard scared me, but <laughs> it looked like Eve was responsive to, to Katie's request. I don't expect uh, Eve and Sadie to Easy. Uh, kick each other or anything oh. of that sort, but uh, because they're mother oh. and daughter, and I think they know oh. it, but a stressed horse that's being reactive could inadvertently hurt another horse. Ooh. Okay, Easy. watch the standard. We don't want the standard to fall over and stress either of the horses, and yet we wanted to leave them up to give a little bit of a challenging obstacles path with this combination pairs driving.
Notice I have my McClellan saddle on Eve. It's a comfortable saddle, multi-purpose saddle. Easy. It's just fine for this application. Man. Lightweight and yet yeah, very convenient saddle to use. Good. Easy. Easy. <laughs> A few days ago on RFD TV, there was a program. It was Friday, today's Tuesday, uh, on rural heritage about Easy. a man who taught his two oxen, Good. male oxen, three years old, Good to uh, pair together and pull a cart. And it was so very similar to doing it with a horse and so very beautiful when they did it together and did it correctly. He used long lines. Good girl. He did use nose Easy. rings, but they weren't nose rings that were actually through Easy. the nose, just clipped to the nose, hey. through the nostrils. He said that was very challenging to teach them at first, but once they understood it, they were fine with it. And he showed us that they were just fine with it. Easy. Easy. Now see, Sadie has to speed up a little bit. Katie. Katie has to keep her eyeballs on what's ahead of her. Easy. When you're pulling farming equipment, you always have to think about uh -uh. the equipment clearing uh -uh. your path as well as the horse. Over at uh, the pasture where we train, we'll probably just use jump standards of this sort for the corridor too. We'll remove the panels and set up a couple of jump Easy. standards to make Easy. a corridor. Uh -uh. Uh, a little bit stressed. Hey. Okay. Any comments? Um, they're doing a lot better actually. Uh, she still gets stressed sometimes. You just saw that. Um, and Sadie's a little lazy, but they're getting a lot better about it. Okay. I feel that this is a good moment of resolution. You agree? Yeah. That's all for today. Sonia Sokolo. This session is to show you that we're practicing, practicing, practicing pairs. We did it last time in the arena, and uh, Katie was riding Eve, and Sadie rode along with in pairs very nicely. Now, today, we've got Katie riding Sadie. And Eve seems to be riding in pairs with her very nicely, except easy, that when we stop, easy. she still pulls her hip out. So we need to work on that. Easy, it's easy. like, uh, okay, uh, we're going to stop. I better turn around easy. and look. Okay, and here's easy. our other plan. Katie's just going to be doing easy. this in the uh, pasture. And when they come by, you'll see what this is. Uh, we have made a simulated fork cart out of an old hay cart. It has a seat out of plywood. It has shafts out of lumber. And the shafts are for a single horse. Good. I feel that um, the first challenge is to do it with a single horse. If we're ever ready to do it with a pair, um, well then we'll need the pole down the middle instead of the shafts on the Easy. side. Good girl. Uh, we also have a step ladder that we're going to keep with the simulated four cart so that whoever's getting in to the four cart can have an easy step in. Oh, this is for the, the future, maybe the way future. We'll see. We take every step at a time and reevaluate what's the next step. But very soon, not today, very soon, this is the, uh, we're going to do this. This is the uh, PVC jockey stick that we made a long time ago, practiced with it when we had ground driving lines on. Yeah. But we got kind of concerned yeah. about it because if the Good. horses do spook, um, these are quick releases. Can you zoom in to that? Easy. In case a, a viewer of this show didn't see prior shows, they're quick releases. They're easy on off. Uh, clasps, easy, easy. unless Good you girl. have spooking horses. 
then it's really yeah, hard to girl. get up there at the right s space in the right moment to release it. Yep. So for further training and trying to avoid wrecks, as soon as we're pretty sure that the two horses will travel in pairs like they are now, can you zoom in on that, Kyle? We are going to, uh, with two people on either side, we're going to run this rope through their breast collars, having the two people on either side holding on to the rope. If you can show when you have a moment uh, when it's appropriate, holding on to the rope. One person here, one person here. We're going to put the jockey stick between the two horses. means it's going to be a white object. It's going to be clanking, but if they're spooking, we're going to more easily be able to slide the rope through the breast collars. Easy, easy. We've done it with the easy. rope alone in the past, easy, easy. but to be more realistic, to be a more realistic nice. simulation of what we're trying to accomplish here in pairs driving easy. and farming, we're going to have to have some kind of a jockey stick. And for now, we're just going to use this PVC jockey stick that we uh, made for training purposes. Good. So I'm going to keep this in the tack room. We're going to keep this simulated fork cart here in the pasture in a corner where the horses can't get into it. And uh, whenever we work with them, uh, we may want to bring it out. I'm just not sure. I thought that this is the first time they've seen it. I thought they might spook by it, but uh -huh. I was told before we turned the camera on and before I got here that they were just fine on uh, walking around it. So maybe what we'll do is when we're ready, when we think they're ready, we'll just have somebody pick up the shafts and walk around the horses, have the horses walk around the shafts, follow the uh, four cart, girls. you know, like an obstacle, it's obstacle training. So when we're ready for that, we're going to have to have a five member team that day, at least. It will uh, desensitize them to this uh, simulated four cart. And at some point, of course, Eve, who's my best farming horse to this date, will be the first Morgan mare here at Chadrack Farms. It's all right, Eve to be harnessed to the fork cart. And this is like just cart training. I've done it with my Morgans. I've done it with my mini cows. Come on. It takes a long time because there are a lot of straps. Come on. It's a weird feeling to be enclosed by the shafts. Uh, she's going to have to learn uh, that she's going to have to pull this thing that's on wheels. And it's going to be rattling behind her. But ultimately, just to give you an idea, ultimately, for training purposes, there'll be some kind of a single tree behind it pulling some kind of a lightweight farming equipment or just a simulated log or ABS log or something of that sort. So we're going to inch our way into making Eve and Sadie our farming horses here at Chadrack Farms with the... Uh, primary objective to be safety, avoid wrecks. And uh, recall that I have mentioned this on prior shows that Doc Love Hamill me. has step up. Uh, not only made Good. DVDs, two-part DVDs about how to avoid wrecks, but has also broadcasted it on RFD TV. You step up. So there must be farmers and horse people out there that have an interest in doing what we're doing here at Chad Rock Farms. And that is, let's try to stay away from gasoline powered equipment. Let's use our horses. But of course, they must be Good trained girl. to be using horses. And that's what we're showing you on the Urban uh -huh. Cowgirl channel. A postscript, Katie is gonna explain how she sees Up. improvement Let's here see. and what needs to be done next. And then she's going to show you up, how we're going to help the horses to understand when Eve they stop, up. they're not supposed to separate their Good. hips. She just tried it before the, mm -hmm. uh, we turned the camera on, and it worked very nicely. I hope it'll work nicely again. So let uh -huh. her, uh, in some order, uh -huh. either show you 
and then come closer to the camera and explain mm -hmm. the progress cool. she feels we're making. Easy, steady, ho, ho. Yes, just that little bit of pressure Good. on Eve's hip uh -uh. made her realize, uh-oh, now uh -uh. she's moving it out. Okay, all right. Uh, good, that didn't happen last time, so she's going to move again and maybe be rhythmic in your pressure or a little bit more pressure. Eventually, Eve will know that it's Steady. the right answer to Ho. stay parallel. Three backs. Ho. There, she moved over ever so slightly. Tiny baby steps. Very nice. And Ho. although Sadie <laughs> is biting at her bit a little Step bit, up. it's much less Ooh. than she's been in the past. So we think she's getting comfortable. Uh -uh. Uh -uh -uh. Ah, again, we hope to show you improvement on this particular problem with Come on. more repetition. Step up. Step up. Steady. Good girl. Step up, paw. Good. Pause left, G is right. Steady. Good girls. Steady. The Eve tends to walk a little faster. She's Steady. got to oh. realize. Ah. Uh, I didn't get it there in time. Didn't get it. Uh, timing is a lot. Very important. Timing and position, very important. So she's going to try again. Yeah, you've got to, you know, there's two thoughts here. Uh, uh, do you let the mistake happen and then correct it? Or do you anticipate that the mistake Steady. might happen oh. and keep it from happening? Yeah. I kind of like the second training thought. That was much better. Yeah. Much better. Timing. Put that uh, the blunt end of that arm extension on her oh, hip. Girl. Yeah. Keep her from making the mistake. Step up. Okay, now Katie's going to come up here and give us another hoe. And if she has anything to add, we'll let you know in this postscript from her point of view how Good she girls. sees our progress and what she thinks we need to do further. Steady. Ho! Oh. Beautiful. Good girls. Good. Anything that I didn't say that you think uh, you should say? Um. I don't think so. They're getting a lot better at it. Um, for a lot of it, I'm hardly even having to pick up the lead rope. Um, they're just, and she's picking up a trot mainly on her own. She still gets a little stressed sometimes, but not nearly as much as she used to when we first started doing this. And Sadie's much calmer about it also. Okay. And remember, even Sadie, our mother and daughter, so I don't have this innate worry of having two horses next to each other that may want to kick each other. I doubt that they would. Nobody knows for sure, but I doubt that they would because they do a lot of things together and they seem to be bonded in the mother-daughter relationship. Okay, that's Good all girl. for today. Today, after a long time of not using our cross-check reins, we decided today to just harness up the horses because they haven't been harnessed up in a long time Put the cross check reins down on the ground. Get the jockey stick ready to use. The jockey stick is white. The color alone could scare them. The cross check reins on the ground kind of scared them. They were snorting. Could look like a, a snake to them. But that's okay. For today, we just want to get them accustomed again to all this tack. And actually, putting the britchin on, the youngster Sadie was a little bit challenging today. And in the past, when we were doing it every other day, it was nothing. So tack fitting, putting tack on is a very important process. And even if you don't have time to work with them, put it on, take it off. We learned that lesson today. Now, um, here's the objective, and not today. It's a cold spring day. It's overcast. They haven't been doing this in quite a while, so we're just getting the plan ready to go. We're documenting it, and I hope next time when we have a team of at least four, preferably five people, we'll try the plan. We'll put the cross-check reins on. Now, the cross-check reins are designed so that in the back, where I'm pointing, the north side, there's only one pair of reins. But in fact, because of the way they hook up to the bridles, you can control both horses with one 
pair of reins because mm -hmm. the right side of Sadie's bridle uh, and the right side of Eve's bridle will be controlled with one of the drive lines and the left side of Sadie's bridle and the left side of Eve's bridle will be controlled with the other side of the drive lines. Whoever's at the head of the horses <laughs> will hold the jockey stick in front of them with this string. And if there is a spook, rather than trying to get to a, a quick it, release to release it, more, we are going to just uh, let the jockey stick right, now fall to the ground. And if necessary, like pull the rope out. This is our next session. The last session we had a problem because Eve uh, got uh, spooked by something that happened in a yard nearby or by something Sadie, her daughter, did. We're not sure. And uh, Eve uh, jolt, uh, bolted forward and we were able to control her, but uh, you know, within a few moments, but she still got kind of afraid of her harness and the camera and her own daughter, Sadie. She's not, I think she's not sure what it was that made her reactive but uh, now we need to deal with getting our confidence back. So we have Katie riding Eve here in the same area. The accident of the bolting happened right here. Uh, we have Sadie in an inner corral with her harness on just being walked around. We're uh, not comfortable yet driving Sadie uh, or even having Eve next to Sadie because we're not sure which or uh, whether either of the two horses perceives each other as a threat. So we're going to do a whole lot of this one tiny baby step at a time to try to regain their confidence as they were doing great at uh, following each other in pairs driving especially when uh, one was being ridden and the other was being driven or lead line. So when we can get back to that kind of comfort level out here in this urban rural setting, there was somebody playing drums across the street, but we can't help that. We have neighbors. Um, well, then we'll show you our progress in pairs driving with the intention of being able to drive them eventually with their cross-check reins uh, that control both horses' heads with one pair of reins behind by the driver and maybe even the jockey stick hanging from their collars in the front. That's our objective. Looks like, let's just watch for a few minutes, can you um, walk around with Sadie in there, Angela? Is she showing you any stress? No, she's fine. She's fine now. We're, we're pretty confident that we're going to be able to get mother and daughter to trust each other again and be confident in us. This is a big area. Uh, Katie, are you comfortable walking over to the west side, uh, doing some circles or ovals there? Kyle, can you get the gate open? We've got a, a one, two, three, four, five-member team today because we didn't want to be short, anybody, for this regaining of confidence plan. Okay, come on out, Angela, and you stay on this end. They're going to see each other from a distance. They're going to know that each other's out here. Just walk this way and make an oval. We've got a yacht rope, 12-foot yacht rope lead line here. We've got yacht rope reins there with a smooth snaffle. Ah, look at, look at Eve. Look at Eve. Look at Sadie. <laughs> yeah, there's a perception there that we have to figure out what's going through her mind. Can we maintain her focus? Can we regain her confidence? 
We have in the past, in the past year, been driving them in harness, full harness with Britch and Cooper and everything uh, next to each other. Okay, keep going around. Do, do you feel good? What? Yes, yeah, she's fine. fine. You can tell right away by watching body language. Yeah, Sadie's doing good. Eve is much better. Can you come a little closer, Katie? But then let's not go beyond what you're comfortable doing. I want them to see each other. And then, when we're comfortable showing this to you, if we've been able to do it off camera, we're gonna do this very same thing and ask them to be parallel to each other. I think it's too much to ask for today. Yeah, let's not do it today. One or the other or both kind of blames their concern on something other than their mindset. Katie's being a little bit brave there. Let's see what happens. Sadie's still fine. Eve, watch her body language. You're showing a bit of stress. But she is maintaining focus. Look at Sadie's neck. She's down. Her body is not showing stress. It's most definitely Mommy Eve who's concerned. And she's the one that got spooked here in our last session and ended up shouldering over. As a matter of fact, I ended up on the ground. Uh, and the camera ended up getting pushed. And we got them both controlled within moments. Oh, look, Eve is licking her lips, but look at that. Neck up, the ears forward. But look at Sadie, she's fine. It's Mommy Eve. Oh, but her back leg is cocked. Look at her back, right leg, she's cocked. I'm going to call that our moment of resolution of getting... Uh, Eve and Sadie to be confident in each other, in us, in the tech that we need to do harness work. And that's all for today. See more at www.urbancowgirlchannel.com. <laughs>